In this video, I'm going to go through uh, the mechanics of setting up and configuring a, an Electrum X server. Um, so here is the GitHub repository here, and um, yeah, we'll just hit the read the docs section, and we'll go to the how to section. And here it um, takes us through some of the prerequisites. So we're going to need Python, um, and we're also going to need a Bitcoin Core um, uh, instance that has TX index equals one. Um, and so if you've got all that, then you can start this process. So basically what we're going to do is uh, clone this repository. So we'll copy this and we'll clone it into our um, uh, Ubuntu machine. So clone that through. And you'll see that that has created a uh, directory in your home folder um, called Electrum X. So we'll CD into there. And you'll see here uh, that there is a setup.py script. So what we'll do is just go Python 3, um, setup.py, and then build. Okay. And the next thing is to um, do the same command, but instead of build, it's install. So Python 3, setup.py, uh, install. Um, and add a sudo in front of that. Okay. So that's now going away and getting all these packages um, that are required for this build. Okay, so once that's finished, um, what we can do is uh, start this um, uh, Electrum X server up. Now you'll notice that there is an Electrum X server fi file here. We're gonna be running, not the using daemon tools, but we're gonna be using systemd. Um, and so in this folder here, in this contrib folder, uh, systemd electrum x, um, we will uh, utilize this information um, to copy it and then paste it into uh, systemd. So let's do that. Um, so copy and paste that through. Uh, and we will put a sudo in front of it, of course, because um, it's, yeah. Uh, so we will super use of that. And then what we'll do is uh, edit that um, file. So sudo nano etc systemd system um, electro, uh, electrum x dot service. Now in here, we've got an environment file uh, that we need to establish. So that'll be in the etsy um, electrum x dot conf. Uh, and the uh, xx start is not actually gonna be user local bin. Um, it's going to be something different. It's going to be where this, uh, so if you go into this folder here, that's the directory that we need to go to. So what we're gonna do is change this from um, that to uh, home slash Satoshi, which is my home username uh, and slash Electrum X. Um, and so that is what we will be running. We'll be running this in our home directory, um, not the one that's built in USR. Um, and the user will also be Satoshi, um, and that will be my username here. Um, so that's something that you need to keep an eye out for. So we'll control X that, Y that, and um, uh, save that and close it out. Now, the next thing that we need to do is uh, get this um, uh, conf file. Um, so let's have a look in the contrib folder um, and go into the system D folder. Uh, and here you will see the electrum x.conf as well. So let's um, copy that. So sudo copy uh, electrum x.conf to the Etsy file. Um, and we will then uh, nano that. So let's edit that. Um, so sudo nano etc electrumx.conf. Now here is where you will need to make some changes. Um, now your database directory, we need to put this into somewhere um, for the database to, imp uh, to index. So what I'm going to do is create a, data uh, a database folder and I'm going to call it electrumx um, underscore db. So in my home folder uh, over here, we've got uh, electrumx as a folder, but we'll also do um, make uh, directory electrum x underscore db and so now you will see a database um, uh, folder and that is what we're going to reference here as the database directory here 
So um, the next thing that we'll need to fill out is also where um, uh, the username and password of our Bitcoin Core instance. So in my particular instance, um, uh, the username is Bitcoin and the password is also Bitcoin. And uh, the host name, um, you can leave that as localhost and you don't need the port and you don't need the HTTP that was in the front there. Now, if you're running uh, Bitcoin Core on this machine, you can use localhost. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to use a separate machine um, that, that hosts Bitcoin Core. And that for me is 192.168.55.86. So um, that's something that you'll need to change. Uh, the next thing is to unhighlight this Bitcoin um, coin equals. And we're also going to put in some other configuration options in as well, which I have labeled it out here. So um, it will be services, uh, coin, which we've already got, and um, uh, peer discovery off, and uh, cost soft limit and hard limit to zeros. So we'll copy that, and we will also paste that in like so. So what's going to happen is uh, the Electrum X server is going to broadcast on port 5001, um, and it will be connected uh, from any IP address. So anyone anyone in the network can access um, uh, our Electrum server. So that's um, probably it for the configuration of this, uh, of this file here. So we'll control X out of that and save it and write it to uh, electrumx.conf. Okay, so now let's go back into um, the Electrum X folder. Now, the next thing that we really need to do is just start this thing up. So let's see what happens when we start this thing up. So sudo um, systemctl enable electrum x dot service and we will hit start. Okay, and let's check the status. And you can see here that it has connected through to Bitcoin Core um, on my other computer and it's now indexing away. Now, if you want to um, check out the, uh, the the logs for this. You can easily uh, in, in live. What you do is journal ctl uh, dash fu electrum x dot service, and so now you can see what exactly is going on. Um, now, if you want to have a look as well in our electrum uh, our empty electrum x database. Um, so if you cd into here, oh. Uh, you'll see coin, um, a hist folder, a meta folder, and a UTX folder. Um, and this is going to grow as this thing grows out. So you'll see here in the logs um, that your height is 123. So I've done 123,000 out of the um, uh, 719,000. And it even gives you um, some level of, I guess, an ETA. So it's going to take about a day and it usually does take about a day and a half. These ETAs aren't exactly, um, you know, accurate, but that is kind of where it stands in terms of um, setting up this Electrum X server. And you can see the logs through here and you can work on this particular um, uh, frame here um, or, or this terminal. So that's basically it on how to set this thing up. Um, and yeah, uh, you will then be able to, once this has indexed, you'll then be able to connect your Sparrow wallet up to that. So what I'm gonna do is, is um, open up Sparrow wallet and I'll show you, uh, because I've got one ready already um, and that it's synced, you just go to preferences, um, server, and 192.168.55.86, that's where my one is. And I'm gonna hit test connection. Um, and you can see that Electrum X um, is being connected to. So that would be how you would connect back your Electrum server through to, um, to, to your Sparrow wallet, okay? Um, now, that's really all there is to this. It's not a big process to, to get this sort of going. This will then start in the background every time um, uh, you know, uh, your, your machine starts because it's, it's run by a, a system D. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you just wait for a day until this whole thing 
turns to uh, somewhat 70 gigabytes. Um, so if you look in DUH, you'll see currently it's sitting at uh, 81 megabytes or 157 megs. That will be uh, changing over through to uh, about 69 or 70 gigabytes um, at this point in time. So uh, you just leave this away and you know off it goes and it does its own thing and it indexes. It'll take some time and you'll be able to then connect through to your Electrum uh, X server. Now, one of the things that um, you might want to understand about is why you would run a um, an Electrum server in the first place. So you might want to go over to sparrowwallet.com and go over to the docs section. And Craig, um, who is the developer, has uh, ha has this piece on um, server performance and he compares servers. So uh, the vast majority of people are probably sitting on an Electrum Rust server, um, but some uh, wallets uh, which have deep um, UTXOs and, and deep uh transactions across um you know their wallet uh for these ones um electrum rust server isn't probably the best way of going about it it's particularly under the context of people who are whirlpooling uh, you know 24 7 um and remixing they're using a lot of addresses and they're going further and further down their keychain um and so uh the the database uh, for Electrum X is actually much more efficient um, in being able to collect that data uh, rather than um, an Electrum uh, Rust server. And so you can see some of the results from um, Craig's testing. Um, so, and yeah, so this is something that you might want to uh, dive more into and have a read through to understand why um, you would want to be running an Electrum X server.